All right, I'm going to show you a video on how to remove the valve cover gaskets. The reason I did this on this vehicle, this is a 2003 Infiniti FX35. Uh, the reason I did this is not only was the valve covers on both sides leaking a little bit of oil, but more importantly, it was leaking oil into the spark plugs. And in Infiniti's great wisdom, I think Nissan's the same way, they designed these valve cover gaskets that you can't replace just the gasket you can for the valve covers, but where the spark plugs go into the valve covers, you cannot replace any gasket. You have to buy a whole new valve cover. And to get to the valve cover, well, you have to take apart the entire top of the engine. So I'm gonna show you, first of all, taking off the top plastic cover, and we'll get this piece by piece and break it up into sections. So once you remove this, and I already obviously had it uh, taken apart, the next step is going to be removing this top piece. Um, many pieces connect to it, um, including, including the air intake. Um, there's some hoses on the back. These top screws here are different sizes, so take note. The front screws are shorter than the back screws, and then this screw in the very back here is even longer, or is about the same as these three. So just kind of keep note, you put it back together the same way. Hoses that connect on all sides. Um, there's a hose back here that connects to the valve, to the intake. Um, clamps, they're gonna need to come off. Clamps that need to come off. Um, I'm not gonna take this apart to the extent of taking off like this fuel line here. Um, I will unscrew these to disconnect it, but will not completely remove it like I did originally. Now I say originally is because I wanted to do a video of this and I forgot. And so I'm now I'm taking it apart, not just to make a video, but because, like an idiot, I tightened down the valve cover on this side and forgot to tighten down the valve cover on this side. There are 10 screws total that hold this valve cover down. That's underneath here, connected to this oil um, port here. Four on each side, one on each end. So 10 total. Um, I hand tightened this and never actually put a socket on it and tighten it all the way down. And when I started this thing up, crossed my fingers, everything went well, started leaking oil, realized I'd never tightened this down. So I tightened down um, the four on this side that I could see, each end and the top. So I have three more screws that I need to get to. So I have to take the whole entire top end off again. So I will start taking this apart and do little bits to show you what it's like to get down just to replace the snake and valve cover. So now I've got everything that's connected to the top, almost everything that's connected to this top piece. And it's gonna come off in sections, um, completely taken off. The clamps that we're holding are connected to it. Okay, there are these screws that go around. There's nine of them. There are two um, nuts that go on top and seven screws that go across the top of this. Three short, one, two, three, four longer ones in the back, all right? I put them all in a cup. This time, because I'm gonna be doing it quick, I suggest a plastic bag, marking it, labeling it, so you don't have to worry about what goes with that and keep it with each part, because there are many screws that you're gonna be taking off. I'm not even gonna take off every little clamp that goes with these uh, valve covers too, because all these, every piece here is connected to the valve cover too, so. For right now, I just wanna to get to the valve cover so that I can get to it. Now, I said almost everything is taken off this because when I put it back together in a learning process, I learned that there is a hose connected underneath that I'd forgotten about because I'd done it so many months ago and got back to this project later um, that wasn't connected, very hard to get to once it's all tightened down. I was able to get to from the back underneath, but not easy to get to. And I'm gonna see if I can lift it. I may have to stop the video. Um, so you can see, there's actually a couple hoses. I'm not sure if you can see them both. Uh, one in the back, one right in the front here. So I'm gonna disconnect the one that you can see up front here that's connected right there, this hose right there. So I'm gonna disconnect that one first because I can disconnect it easier down here. The one in the back's a little harder to get to, so I'm gonna shut the video off so I have two. All right, next step. That top piece was taken off. I put it down here. You can see I left a couple hoses connected to it. Disconnected them from the vehicle. One hose that I was hardest to get to is this hose back here. Um, I lifted it up on an angle, was able to get a pair of pliers to pull this down. Connecting that one, that one was the hardest one to get to. So 
Um, I guess if it was working easy working on cars, everyone would do it. You never go to a mechanic. So um, next is this piece. So there are two nuts, one here, one located behind back here. I don't know if you can quite even see it. I already took those off. These four screws are six screws. I apologize. So these six screws, I'm going to take off the top. Again, I'll put those in a cup. And I'm going to take this piece off, set it off to the side for right now. I'm going to take this gasket off too. I don't want to mess this up. I already did bend it a little bit in putting it back on. Um, so I want to be very careful with that. And if I'm not mistaken, this thing should lift off as one piece now. Let me see if I can do it while holding the camera. I can. Okay. So now when I was working on the car, I didn't work on it for months. So I had actually taped up the top to keep anything from getting down into the engine. So let me just stop this. So now you can see we do have access to our valve covers. Okay. So our valve covers being here. Um, this side has the oil port and these lovely screws that I did not get to. And you can see I did not, I simply lined them up and didn't even get them into place. So turns out it looks like I only had two more I couldn't reach, but I had to take the whole top of the engine off, as you can see, because you couldn't get to it. Now to re remove these, you know, of course you got to take off the ignition coils on top of the spark plugs. Um, they're actually bolted to the valve cover. There are some other brackets that are connected to the valve cover. So there's lots of pieces, um, definitely mark and bag, or like in my case, I put them in cups so that you don't lose them. You know where they go. Um, I actually taped and marked which cylinder um, was what on the plug that went to the ignition coils that go on the spark plugs. Um, I believe on this side it's 135 and I think it's 246 on this side uh, as far as the cylinder heads go. Oh, actually it's marked in here too. 135. I never even noticed that before. And this side I can't read, but that's how it goes. 135, 246. I went ahead and marked them so that I could put it back together correctly and didn't have any problems with misfire. So now I'm going to tighten down those and put the whole thing back together again. So, but this is what it would look like. And I've already had this taken apart two times for making different mistakes and putting things back together. So third time's a charm. Here we go. All right. Well, finally got to put it all back together. Put the plastic piece back on top. Wash her up a little bit. Cleaned her up. She's been sitting for a couple years now, not really being driven. And I did find a leak. I'm going to have to fix that at a later date. So I got duct tape on that. But she's running like a champ. So that is my experience on changing out the valve covers, amongst other things, on a... 2003 Infiniti FX35. Thank you.